Everything all right, boys? Can't you call this, I mean, I've got. Well, I wasn't going to say anything, but yes, yes, there have been a few slippages. Like um, uh, some late openings and then the disinfecting you're using in toilets. It smells weird. Yeah, I've written a list. A list? Yeah, you know, just to help you out. Go on, get out. What? Go on, you heard. Get out me pub. Oh, now, Peter, come along. Don't be silly. He's only trying to help. I don't care, Liz. I don't need his help. Oof. I really think you do. Do you know something else, Steve? Mm. You're barred. What? You heard. The last thing I want is you cozying up to this Newton and Ridley lot at this do with your matiness and your flaming list. Peter. No, no, no. It's all right, Mother. If he's too stubborn to take my advice... I am. I shall take my custom elsewhere. Good. Yeah. The bistro. It's where your ex works. Yes. Yes, where my ex works. And where I won't have to put up with them. Scuffed beer mats. Oh, because they don't have beer mats. Yes, exactly. They don't have beer mats, Sean. Exactly. Mum? I, uh, should get that to work. Yeah, me and all. In fact, haven't you? Uh, no. No. No? No, I've got nothing on. Nothing on at all, actually. So I shall spend the rest of the day spending loads of money somewhere else. Makes me a great wife one day. <laughs> right, so what do we do now then? Well, I'm going to read my magazine. Well, I thought we were training Holly to sleep. He is asleep. We don't do out till he wakes up. Okay, great. When do we wake him up then? We don't wake him up. Steve, this control crime was your idea. Did you even read the article you sent me? Yes. Oh, Steve! Great, great. Now look what you've done. Oh, the woman was shot. Oh, just shut up. I'll go get him. No, no, you don't go and get him. That's the whole point of control crying. You let him cry, and then if he carries on, you go in, you just stand there, reassure him, let him know you're there, and then you just don't pick him up. Right. Or if he's ill. Oh, he's not ill. Yeah, but he might oh, be. Steve, no, but just be strong. Can you be strong? No. Right. There you go, see? It's working. Yeah. Right, good. The sooner we get him to sleep through the night, the sooner we get our lives back to normal. Now just sit back and relax. I'm hungry. It's a criminal waste of a decent biscuit, that is. It must be appetite and fade away. Yeah? Well, why's that? I don't know. I do. Michelle, you got to sort this out, mate. I don't know. Well, what do you want? I don't know. I don't know what I want. Well, why don't you tell her that? Why do you try talking to her? If you don't talk, you're not going to get it mended. Yeah. Yeah, I should talk to her. Yeah, no, you know what? I will. I will. I'll talk to her. You see, that's the attitude. <sighs> I feel better now. I've got a plan. Yeah, we're going to crack this, me and you. Oh, hey, up. Oh. Now's your chance. Don't fail me now, big man. Be cool. <clears throat> Seen you to her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought, eh? In all the streets and all the weather field. <laughs> Steve. Michelle. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Steve, say something, will you? Um, yeah, is, is it have still got bacon over there? I think so, yeah. I'll have a bacon butty. Mm. Starving. Happy breakfast. Right. Right, best get on then. You should slow down oh. a bit. Oh, where's your party spirit, Norris? Oh, Johnny's just text. Please oh. tell me he's sending in the helicopters. He says, drink as much as you can, cos Steve needs to learn his lesson. <laughs> P.S. Can you help? Giving away free champagne. Hey, she's just pulled half my hair out. I know, we saw it through the window. Well, you need to do something. Like what? Break the door down, I don't know.
What seems to be the problem, officer? Come in with a landlord's fancy dress. Well, this will be great. I can't wait. <laughs> Kurt! Oh, no. Ox. Jack Nicholson it is, then. <laughs> Come on, cousin it. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Steve. <laughs> Look really good. Yeah, yeah. See the uh, straight lines there? Side on, perfect. Perfect smooth edges. Yeah, no corners jutting out. Why are we whispering? Because the, the Sistine Chapel, they don't talk. Huh? Yeah, they're just looking all. Or something. Take as long to clean up. Well, I don't understand. I follow Dabandi's instructions to the letter. Well, I just want to stick them back up. I mean, it'd be mosaic, won't it? It's dead trendy. It's a complete balls up. Well, there must be something wrong with the tiles or the walls bent or something. Flipping Dabandi. Oh, you tried your best. It's a total disaster. Look at it. Oh, it's Steve here. You! What are you flipping doing here? What, is that him? That's him! What do you think you're playing at, making a clown of my friend and then coming back for more? I just wanted to say Michelle wasn't lying. We didn't go to bed. Well, we were on the bed at one stage, but... Whoa, 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 whoa! TMI! But we didn't close the deal. How dare you? Well, well, she wouldn't. She stayed loyal. Loyal? Loyal? You're telling me that my wife's loyal because she rolled around on a bed with you but didn't go that distance? It's true. Wait, 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 not with your arms, Steve. One mistake, one stupid mistake, and now this. I mean, it didn't even mean anything, it was pointless. Yeah, all right. We had a drink, me and Michelle had split up, and I thought she'd gone for good. I mean, it's any port in a storm, innit? Yeah, well, you weren't exactly my finest hour, either. You're hardly Tommy Dustin yourself. Okay, I gotta go. Ah, uh, I thought you were, uh, gonna wait for Eileen. I just remembered the job I gotta do. Any messages? Uh, yeah, just one for you. If you even think about eating my wife's cake, you're a dead man. <laughs> <laughs> See ya! Hi. Well, why would you do that? Because we're best mates. Well, we're close mates, I wouldn't say best. No, that's true, I'd probably keep Lloyd as number one. Oh. Cheers. And Tim. Tim? How long have you known Tim? Was Toya there? I bet Toya was there once you. They're pair. Honestly, a woman tells you to do something and you're like, I thought you had an appointment with your solicitor. I have. Only my uh, best friend's trying to talk me out of it. Oh, you just want to lie. Hey. Hey. Where have you been? I've just been chatting with Ty in the yard. Oh. Well, I've just had a very interesting conversation with the landlord. Really? Mm. Oh, and uh, how is he? Is, he? is everything OK? Not as well as you'd think. It seems running a pub is much harder than he thought it'd be. Well, everybody thinks they can run a pub, don't they? <sighs> You'll never guess what. What? He's asked me to come back and work here. No! Mm -hmm. Well, I never would have thought. You could have knocked me down with a feather. I bet. Wonder where that's come from. Mm -hmm. Come here, you've got some food. Oh, Ow! What was that for? How dare you interfere in my life? All you've been doing for ages is moaning about Moor at the medical centre. So, I like moaning. Hey, you moan about Eileen on a daily basis. Do I do anything about it? No, I'll let you get on with it. You hate Moora. She was nice to me today. Well, she might be horrible to you, Tamara. Well, she might well be, but don't you dare stick your beak in my life. <laughs>